everybody welcome back to my channel and to another how-to video today we're going to be talking about stringing so as you can see my strings are a little bit crazy right now we're going to talk about how to keep and maintain a legal pocket based on how you tie the knots on your stick so some of us have different pockets some of us use mesh but for those of us who use um, leather still or any type of stringing where you actually have things at the bottom that you tie and get loose this video is for you. Um, so to start, you have four sets of strings. You have two on the outside and usually a runner in the middle. Um, this, the two on the outside, these are typically your leathers. Um, so as you can see, these are nice leather strips. This runner in the middle is a rail elite runner. That's what I play with. It's a, again, leather, but it has thinner stringing and these little plastic knobs to help create kind of a ladder going down. So the first thing we're going to talk about are these two outside strings. Because our typical runner pocket is a little bit deeper, we want these two outside strings to be a little bit tighter. So I like to run my string all the way straight down through, and then I'm going to end up putting two knots right on either side. As far as this runner, if we tighten these outside ones a little bit, we can let our runner be a little looser. That's going to create that nice pocket. So I like to punch it in right in this sweet spot. And then from there, I'll tie the bottom as well. That'll create that nice sort of pocket shape, um, keep you legal, but again, give you enough. We died, we're back. Okay, so going off to where I was saying, we're gonna make sure that these are tied so that we have that nice, nicely shaped pocket, are legal, but still have enough power and control to get our shots off. So let's dive right in. So first of all, with these leathers i like to pull them a little tighter and then make knots at the base of my stick so that the knot presses right against the plastic that's going to help make it as tight as possible and secure as possible i want to make sure they're even so you're just going to look at it make sure they're about even looks about right and again we're making that knot all the way through so step one, complete. Step two, so now if you wanna take a ball, make sure you get it to a spot where the ball still sits over. So for me, I like a little bit tighter of a pocket. Perfect. That pocket is already set exactly where I want it. For these strings, I'm able to just kind of tie and knot again. Um, for some of you guys, you have a little bit looser pockets. And then I just flip my stick over, wrap it around the front nice and easy then they're out of my way the back side i'll do the same so i go front to back this time not over and then i'm good so everything nothing's hitting me in the face everything's pretty compact if these strings really bother me i can always tuck them in and around but they usually don't bother me but for this case i will so then you have everything nice and compact one do not one major do not that I advise. Don't put tape on your strings. So don't get your sick legal and then put a bunch of tape over it because they're eventually gonna become loose. And then it's really, really hard to one, get the tape off and two, get the knots out if they've been sitting in tape. That's kind of your basic do's and don'ts. If these, bu if these big strings fly, bug you and fly away, you can always cut them and make them a little shorter. Don't take too much off. Um, so that if you need to retie them for whatever reason you can, um, I just keep them nice and long. They don't bother me, but make sure whenever you cut strings, you get a lighter and, or have mom and dad get a lighter and make sure you singe them so that they don't fray. That's kind of it for the how to kind of tie your stick for a legal, for a legal stick. See you next time. Bye guys. Oh, I'm going to hit two lives.